All right, good evening, YouTubers. Started on a different project, so uh, I'm kind of scatterbrained like that, so I start a whole bunch of different projects at once, but that's okay. So I'm out here in the garage uh, watching some football, drinking a little beer tonight, and uh, decided uh, I need to start this project. So um, my computer is an, actually an iMac. I bought it back in 2011 and it's giving me problems and it's time for a new computer so instead of buying another Apple computer and paying double um, than, than what I could build myself I decided to do it DIY style and build a, a new machine myself from parts so I've been buying parts um, all throughout the year I actually decided this time I, I built computers in the past and I typically wait until Christmas and then try to buy it all at one time and um, I decided to try something a little different this time and I wanted to build a more high performance computer which means more money so the way I chose to do it was back in December I decided that I would buy one component every month or one to two every month so that's what I did I started buying stuff back in December I bought the case and then I bought an, like the motherboard the next month and then like the CPU and then uh, on and on and on and here we are October already and I pretty much have all the components um, not quite uh, there's about two things left I need to buy um, but I'll put those on order tonight um, it's time for me to get this this thing built and start using it so um, I wanted to start with uh, kind of an inventory video if you will uh, and show you what I bought and maybe talk through uh, each component and why I chose it or something like that and then I'll do a build video of me putting uh, the thing together so it'll probably be another multi-part video series if you will but um, wanted to get started tonight and uh, kind of get the ball rolling and then we'll see how the videos come out uh, as we go but um, so uh, let's start with like an inventory I'll set the camera up here I've got everything here, over here on a table and uh, we'll see how this works out alright looks like this angle might work okay um, I've got kinda everything laid out here I do need to unbox a few items um, but we'll kinda maybe start with what's already unboxed I bought an Antec case. I believe it's the 302, 302. Yeah, um, it's just kind of a mid tower, I think, if you will. Um, I like Antec cases. Uh, I actually have a server, a Linux server, in the house, and I have it in the Antec 1200 case, and that's a very uh, tall tower. Um, so I wanted to to stick with the Antec. I, li I like the cases. So uh, that's where I started. I bought that, and um, there's not a whole lot more to say about that. I'll, uh, when we get to start building it, I'll show you maybe some of the features, but um, I haven't even taken it out of the box. So uh, next up is I bought a EVGA power supply. Uh, it's a 750G2 Supernova. It's a 80 plus gold power supply. So, uh, had good reviews. Um, I actually picked that up on Amazon. I think I bought the case on Amazon as well. So, uh, I think 750 is plenty of power for what I'm going to use it for. Um, it's not going to have a whole lot of hard drives or anything like that in it. Um, it's kind of a uh, kind of a power uh, desktop. Uh, with a little bit of gaming. I'm not a big gamer, but I do play one or two games um, But otherwise it's more of a productivity computer, so um, That's why I just went with 750 watt power supply um, If we go to the CPU I bought uh, an Intel Core i7 uh, the unlocked version I believe it's the 7700 uh, K. Uh, let me verify that. Yeah, i7-7700K. Um, 
so this is super fast uh, CPU and uh, it's gonna do more than what I need um, which is good uh, future proofed if you will uh, for the cooler for the 7700k I bought a cyborg Cy, cyorg I guess h7 so this thing is massive um, it's a very large cooler um, uh, there's a good look at that so when again when we unbox each each item as I start assembling it um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like um, but it's uh, cry cryori I guess C R Y O R I G H7 um, so that's our uh, our cooler um, another item I bought uh, for the operating system I'm gonna get or I'm gonna use a a uh, NVMe SSD solid state drive so this is actually the M2 super fast M2 slot drive uh, it's very small uh, my motherboard supports M2 uh, and NVMe uh, for those of you who don't know it's a uh, it uses the PCI lane instead of SATA so uh, it's supposed to be super super fast uh, this is a Samsung 960 Evo and it's 250 gigabytes so that'll be plenty big enough for the operating system and my applications and then I'll use a hard drive that I have laying around uh, to do some minor storage uh, in, the, in this machine um, but largely my storage I use a, a separate server for all of my storage purposes bulk storage long-term storage so uh, this thing, I'm excited to see how fast it is. Uh, uh, reviews I read, uh, this thing is screaming fast. It's it's double the speed of a SATA SSD, and uh, it's supposed to be uh, fantastic. So uh, other items I haven't even started opening yet. So let's let's take a look at some of those items. This was a more recent purchase. Um, so what this is is G Skill Rip Jaws Memory. Uh, it's DDR4 and it's PC4 19 200 16 gigabytes. Um, I'll probably ultimately end up with 32 gigabytes, but I'm just going to start with 16. Uh, this motherboard has four slots, so I'll put two in, two 8-gig chips, and then if I want to add two more 8-gig chips later, I can do that. Uh, but this this memory is supposed to be fantastic. Uh, the Rip Jaws V series, I guess it is, and uh, um, so kind of excited to see how that works. Uh, just propaganda, I guess, in there. Um, not sure what's in this box. Be a surprise, I guess, for all of us. Alright, so I got some uh, thermal paste for the CPU. Arctic, I guess, uh, Arctic thermal paste. A little container of that. So that's cool. Uh, a bunch of propaganda here. And here we have, I believe it's a DVD, uh, DVD drive. Indeed. So it's an Asus uh, DVD RW drive. So I can play DVDs and write. CDs and DVDs. Um, probably won't use it much, um, but I feel like I probably need one. So I picked that up. These things are dirt cheap these days. And then in this box, Looks like we 
we have the motherboard. So I got the ASRock uh, Fatality Gaming Motherboard. It's the Z270 chip set, K6. Um, this is a fantastic motherboard, uh, best I can tell. Um, I looked at motherboards a lot to make sure it had what I need. Uh, it has uh, extra PCIe slots. Um, it has dual Intel uh, Gigabit LAN. It's got the M2 slot for the super fast hard drive, M2 hard drives. And it's got a lot of USB 3.0 slots or uh, ports. And it supports up to, I believe, 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is good. Um, I'll probably only put 16 or 32 in it. And this is the LGA 1151 uh, chipset. And that's compatible with my uh, CPU, obviously. Um, I think it's got surround sound audio, which I probably won't use. And uh, it's got HDMI and DVI. Um, you can do uh, dual video cards if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. And that's basically it. So uh, this is supposed to be a fantastic motherboard, extremely fast, supports the 7th gen CPUs. Um, and uh, kind of excited to put that together. So what I don't have, uh, I haven't bought the graphics card yet. Um, I'm on the fence. I think I'll probably get an NVIDIA card. Um, I'm looking at maybe a GTX 1050 Ti or a 1060, somewhere in that price range. I don't need a, a 1080, seven or eight hundred dollar graphics card. I'm, I don't do that kind of gaming. Um, I think a, a 1050 is probably good enough. Um, I play the I play a couple of games on my Mac now, and I get by with an old Radeon card that was ten years old now, uh, just fine. So I think a hundred and fifty dollar uh, GTX 1050 Ti graphics card is plenty um, overkill probably for what I'll I'll use it for so I need to pick that graphics card up and then I also need to pick up a monitor so I'm gonna uh, you know the iMac is a built-in computer and monitor all together I've got the 27 inch so I'm used to a large display so I'm gonna pick up a 30 or 31 or 32 inch flat screen monitor. Um, I just haven't decided whether I want a 1080p monitor or a 2K monitor or a 4K monitor. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't need 4K. Um, I think 2K has is, is got some merit to it, but I could, truth be told, probably get by with just a 1080p HD monitor. So. Um, I need to I need to buy the graphics card. I need to buy the monitor, and then I need to buy Windows 10, which is like a hundred bucks, which is kind of disappointing that they still charge for Windows. But um, I need to pick up uh, Windows Home uh, version 10, and that's like a hundred bucks or something. So that's really all I need, um, and then I'll have everything. But uh, for what I've got right now, I've got everything basically. Uh, except the graphics card that goes inside the machine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the build um, and then I'll order the parts that I need, the monitor and the graphics card, and then by the time they get there, get here uh, next week or whenever, um, I'll be able to finish the machine up. So um, That's kind of where I'm at. So uh, I'll stop this video here um, and then maybe I'll start in um, and start unboxing the stuff and start assembling it and then I'll figure out if I'm gonna make you know one more video or multiple videos or, or whatever but um, now that I've got everything out I can start tearing into the stuff and, and do an assembly so uh, thank you <laughs>